the reading of a Christian prayer is discriminating and holds no part in our public institutions, especially within the chamber of Shoalhaven City Council. Local government is at the heart of its communities and local government plays an important role in fostering the inclusion and participation of all residents. Yet by reciting a Christian prayer at the start of meetings, it is exclusionary. It means that many elected representatives, staff members and members of the public that do not belong to the officially favoured religion are made to feel unwelcome and isolated. In short, they are made to feel other. While the rationalist society promotes freedom of religion, it also asserts that no particular faith should be guiding government. These are the words of the society's president, Dr Meredith Doge. If you genuinely believe in freedom of religion, then you must allow others the right to freedom from religion. In a liberal democratic society, it must be true that everybody is free to believe whatever they want in the privacy of their own minds. But they are not free to manifest those beliefs in any way that they like. There are three principles that should be honoured in a pluralistic and democratic society like ours, and they are freedom, equality and separation. Freedom to practice one's faith or belief, as long as by doing so you do not harm others or impinge on their rights. Equality between religious and non-religious worldviews, so that neither has an advantage or disadvantage. And separation between religious institutions and those of the state. By having a moment of reflection at the start of each meeting, it allows each councillor and all those present to offer a silent prayer to whoever or whatever they believe in quietly and respectfully and allows for the inclusion of all. Thank you.